Hello everybody and welcome. We are going to you live for the new Nintendo Direct September 13, 2022 and welcome. So this is uh, going to showcase on all the latest and top of the newest of Nintendo games which is going to be releasing this year and I'll, I have a lot to talk over to it. So if you guys are new, if you case you guys have subscribed to my YouTube channel, just to hit up that advertise the like button, share the live stream to any of your friends, subscribe and ring the notification bell and stay tuned so tomorrow I will be back with some more Batman World Week Pack, so I, I still gotta get that game finished. And Friday, we'll be we back with more Sonic Oregon. So just to stay tuned on that. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll go and find my uh, my page where it says about, and you can look to see what the news upcoming live stream I'm gonna be streaming in the nearly future. So without further ado, uh, let me go ahead and put something in the chat. So in case you guys are watching, so it's like none of you guys that wanted to, to come hop onto my live stream and support me and uh, watch me react to all of this. So um, I'll just uh, go ahead and put it where the Nightbot is showing, and also I want to go ahead and check to see if we're already streaming. Okay, so I want to go ahead and turn that thing down. So we, we, the um, so it only starts by another than a half an hour. I mean, just uh, for only five minutes. So let me go skip this ad. Okay, so I can barely hear me better. So if we're having any more of these uh, buggies or audio tech uh, issues guys coming from my mic, just uh, let me know and I can stop my stream. The guy will have to let me know in case you guys are, are, are watching this uh, live stream and supporting me. So we only see because um, I'm only seeing uh, zero current viewers. Okay, well, you know what? I, I really got to keep on growing the channel more because it's not like a lot of these people have uh, come and uh, check out my live stream recently. But uh, there's some more that we got to talk about. So, um, uh, so still the uh, the nightbot is just uh, taking this time to one um, to come up. Okay, there we go. Boom. So in case you guys are watching, just uh, feel free to comment. All right. So um, let's talk about this. Okay. So I am super excited for the new Breath of the Wild too, and I'm we're looking forward to see how amazing the mechanics are going to look at the first game. A lot better at it because um it just uh, go ahead and change the whole environment because I really wanted to look forward to seeing how Breath of the Wild 2 compared to the uh, first game because I played the um, the, the first uh, Breath of the Wild game back uh, in, in, the, in the Wii U days and and the game was um was a uh, a lot beautifully and a and a lot smoother but uh, in a different type of of the environment because I really love how the graphics how, and uh, a lot cleaner and how it looks I mean and a lot of this uh, art style and a lot of colors into it because somehow it just uh, go ahead and sh shape things uh, to turn the uh, the tables around because I really love it how Breath of the Wild is supposed to look. But I I'm getting a lot better at talking to my commentary because this is where I'm going to be reacting to Nintendo Direct. So we we might as well go and uh, see more of this uh, Spicer's Hope, the, uh, the sequel to um, the Kingdom Battle from uh, Mario Plus Rabbit. And of course, because uh, they did show off the um, the... The, a little of this uh, trailer was that they did show the um the third DLC called Rayman. So they brought back Rayman and uh and wh what's the game called? Yeah. So they brought back Rayman and Mario plus Rabbit Spice of Hope, which um I'm deeply excited to see how all these uh four DLC ways are gonna do. Uh, I mean I'm going to do a walkthrough of it on my YouTube channel when that game comes out next month. So um, I am looking forward to that because there is just a lot of game releasing this year in 2022, which I'm I'm deeply excited to see. So I did finish uh, my playthrough of playing uh, Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle on my YouTube channel. In case y'all remember that, because uh, I did I, I did play all two two of them. So the one I play is the original, which is the full version of Kingdom Battle, and the the DLC one, which is uh, Donkey Kong Adventure. And I, I play those two, and those are two were mostly the assigned games I usually play for this year. And um, of course, uh, let's uh, see now. I, I really want so let's not talk about the um the next one. So in the, so we only got another five uh, five or three minutes. So we could just uh, keep on talking over and discussing. And uh, yeah, you can barely hear the noises from the background. So it's that this uh finish uh finish uh, publishing. So hold on a minute. So yeah, I don't know what's going on because I am uh, streaming this on my Wii U, which is uh, kind of having some buffer issues. So uh, it might as well come up. I mean, who knows? I, I mean, I just uh, hope this uh, Wi-Fi don't go screw this up so, so much. So it's just uh, taking the time to load. So hold on, how is it just to keep on having so much buffer issues?
Okay, so I can't go back it up or do anything with it. Okay, so let me try. No, uh, hold on. No, I'm not going to back it up. I, I'm just going to have to wait because that thing is buffering a lot. Yeah, something going on with the Wi-Fi. I had to back it up more. Okay, hold on. So now it's just turn off. Okay, so automatically turn off immediately. So I'm going to hurry up be before it, it comes off. Yeah, well, sometimes this, this these Wi-Fi, these internets are having some uh, buffer tissues for some reason. When I was streaming this on the Wii U, well, I, I probably have a PS5 in, in in case I wanted to go stream YouTube on that. I mean, be my guess. I mean, that that might as well work too. Okay, here we go. So this is just taking me back to Wii U. Okay, I just hope it doesn't go and buffer again. I just hope. So, I'm going to have to define Nintendo Direct as soon as possible. Okay, here we go. So, you can barely see all of this blur, so it, it might, it, it, it's going to come up eventually. I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to see, it's going to clear up all of that. Okay, now it just... It's just that taking this time to uh, the low, so hopefully it doesn't buffer this time. Alright, so it should look fine, so we only got another one minute before it starts. So uh, I just uh, set up a bowl of uh, cereal, and I have not ate breakfast uh, since last morning, but uh, somehow uh, I just want to get my nutrition up, so just to keep my body in health. Okay, so it's just taking a while to load the load. So, I'm going to just stand clear with my mic so I can eat my cereal so that it can start live streaming Nintendo Direct. Alright, so the countdown comes to this. So, let me see everybody in the chat. So, I'm looking at you people in the chat that are super hyped. And they'll all pump up for the Nintendo Direct because this is some uh, fast chat going on here because uh, I, I've been uh, looking at this on another site here because uh, I'm looking at Nintendo Direct Live. Okay, so hold on, it's coming up. Of Elios. Okay, here it comes. Surrounding Let's a go. Land at its center. A thousand Starting now. years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the Fell Dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as Emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Okay, so this is the new Fire Emblem game. Oh, okay, so this is Fire Emblem engaged. You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. The fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But... I've had my eye on you. The ring. 
Marth, right. Sigurd, leave it to me. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. Now, as one emblem, engage! One strike will decide it all. Please grant me your strength. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, I'm not planning on getting another Fire Emblem game. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition containing collectible items. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. Let's take a look at our first batch of headlines. It takes two to tango. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. Even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the free friends pass. Help Cody and May return to normal. With a partner, of course. It takes okay. two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. Cool game. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The forbidden story begins. Okay, it can't be another Red the Evil. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Introducing Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for okay. the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be... Okay, uh, you know. Mechanical? Complete her quest to have her join your party. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Challenge battles will also be added. Test your medal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. Challenge even stronger enemies to earn valuable accessories and special outfits. Okay. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Okay, nice. Glad you're looking forward to Get it. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games.
Nautical nonsense begins when Let's go! Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. That's what I'm In talking this about. Platforming adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds, like prehistoric kelp forests. <laughs> yes! I love that. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves. Dawn over 30 fantastic Let's go! Costumes, My childhood right there. Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it. Soak up SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo <laughs> Switch next year. SpongeBob pretended he she's like Squidward. That is that is You're nostalgia. Already. Fit? Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. They'll be your instructors in exercise. Oh, a box and river game? Interesting. Various boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can with just your fists in battle mode. Or take on rivals in boss battles, including Jaggy. Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star launches on Nintendo Switch March 2023. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Oh, this game looks familiar. I think I remember this game. And frenemies in A little by little. Play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. A small fox washes ashore on a ruined island. Brave the unknown. Oh my gosh, Tuna is coming to the Switch. Your only I heard so much about that manual. game. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. What else we got? New Intel has arrived for these Front Mission remakes. Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn-based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Colosseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Okay, so we're getting a trilogy. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops, care for your friendly animals, and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life launches on Nintendo Switch, Summer 2023. Okay, let's see what's, what's coming up with Splatoon 3. Are we getting DLC or... Okay, what's the, what the heck is going on? Okay. Launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. All right. 
What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? Okay. So many incredible possibilities. Which team will you join? Oh my god, so we get to compete with 12 people? And more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Okay. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. Well, we look forward to it, Nintendo. So, Squids, what did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. Okay, so what, what's the next one? What we getting? Whoa, whoa, we're getting a Square Enix? Another Square Enix of, what is this? Well, there's another sign going on here. Okay, so... Oh my god, we're getting Autopath Traveler 2? a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Eight new travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. Without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star. And bring smiles to people's faces. Just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big realm? Let's go, Tenyos. And what adventures await them in this new world? I think I found the source. The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them and you? Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Okay, so you need to get us more, but spice the whole. A magical home is waiting for you. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face off against mischievous foes. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. As the seasons change, Ooh, I can see. new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural yeah, it, splendor. It, it kind of like remind me of this uh, 3D animation of Starview Valley. Bay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. It's a musical blast from the past. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel, Torn from the Heavens, Suteki Dane, and more. There are 385 songs total. 
Songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. Okay. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today. Nice. Nintendo okay, Nintendo. Shop. After the game's launch, All right. play DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. That's 90 additional songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. A cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Okay, here we go. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbids. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock hidden paths. And help out the locals with their troubles. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. Can Mario and the Rabbids put an end to the darkness? Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A Gold Edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. Restore peace between humans and monsters. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Take a break from quests to chat with the locals, cultivate crops, and care for monsters, among other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. More Nintendo 64 oh, games okay. are on the way. We'll get more N64 games. Wings 64. Mario Party. <gasps> what? We're getting Mario Party now? Party two. Yo. Mario okay. Party three. Pokemon what Stadium. The oh my gosh! Mario no way. We're getting all of that? 1080 snowboarding. Excite Bike 64. These games will gradually be added in the future. Okay. A selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Okay, now what is this? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I remember this. What is that? Oh my gosh. No way. No freaking way. It can be on. It's coming to online play? Dang. Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? Okay, this keeps getting interesting. On the newly discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. 
Perform over 100 types of daily tasks to build character and deepen your relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later today. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket from scratch in this management sim game. Scour the planet for materials. Then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. The final summer begins. When strange islands suddenly appear, Ryza and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Sprawling landscapes. Okay, so we are having a buffer, so um, it's just taking a while to load. So I uh, know what. Vast world and I'm gonna go let you guys listen this to this charming one. RPG. Eleven heroes from all walks of life. Will so it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys hear it on my microphone because this one is buffer. To activate various skills, which can so be uh, let me go ahead and reset needed. this again. Teamwork is paramount, after all. <laughs> New features are also in store. So we're trying the this again. To this lively Hold on. Are in your hands. Hold on. Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Wave 3 is on the way. Here's a sneak peek at two courses racing into Wave 3. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Konnichiwa. スーパーマリオブラザーズアニメーションスプリングデイ。
まずは昨年11月にナイアンテックスさんとモバイルでスタートし世界中のユーザーが鼻声を続けているミンブルームですまだプレイしたことがないという方に向けて少しだけ紹介させてくださいピクミンブルームは位置情報と連動した遊びで外に出かけて歩くことでピクミンを見つけたり育てたり一緒に花を植えたりする遊びです毎日のウォーキングやお出かけに持って歩くだけでいいんです一日の終わりには出かけた場所を振り返ったりピクミンをお使いに出してその日に見つけたアイテムを集めたり蜜をあげて花びらを増やして遊びますさて、今日は何歩歩いたでしょうお出かけ先では AR 機能を使ってピクミンと写真を撮ることもできますあなたのそばにもピクミンがいますよちょっと私の画面を見てみましょうピクミンは700匹近く育ててますねピクミンは花のエキスが大好きなんですこんな風にエキスをあげると花を咲かせてくれますその日に歩いた歩数もわかりますねマップは歩いたところの雲が晴れていくので自分が歩いた場所を残していけます私は普段京都市内を中心に移動していますが大阪にも行ってますね USJ ですねたまに東京にも出かけていますよし今度はここまで行ってみようなんて旅行や散歩が楽しくなります持っているだけでも楽しめるゆるい遊びですのでぜひダウンロードしてみてくださいさてここからが本題まずはこれをご覧くださいマヨムービーピクミン 4? Is this Pikmin 4? Please tell me this is Pikmin 4 okay, It had to be Pikmin 4 I, I'm calling it you guys I'm calling it It had to be Pikmin 4 Pitman 4? Let's go! Yes! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, it's happening! That's right. Yes! Pitman 4 will launch in 2023. <laughs> oh my god! However, let's go! From the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. I also made a new t shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dan Dori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Well, just dancing is a good dancing exercise. I mean, it's just like、uh, keep your groove moving. Yeah, basically, I want to call out to any other just dance games. Bro, because I am so freaking hyped. We're actually getting Pikmin 4. This is mind blowing right now. Season of death. Oh my gosh, dang! You can cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of Lethe. The season of death quietus continuously returns, threatening to destroy all. Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, 
you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Get ready for a devilishly good time. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. Don't worry. I know this song by heart. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca and another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. Wiped out for good! A hair raising demon summoning, globe-trotting adventure awaits in Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate controlled metropolis. Okay, I, I bet this is not Those like not like a, another persona game. Detectives who come from all around the world. Rain code? How is that a game? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Um, I don't know about that much about that game, Nintendo. Evidence. When you're ready, no idea why, what we're looking at here. Realm, tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Oh, okay. Well, it's lo a little like uh, some Final Fantasy remake. Rain code launching first going on here. Switch Spring 2023. Well, um. <laughs> I'm definitely not looking forward to that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Definitely not, not looking forward to it. Definitely not. Looking forward to the new Resident, the Resident Evil. The Resident Evil series is coming to no. Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Yeah, all of these are Resident Evil games were so Evil terrible. Cloud so terrible on, on the Switch, Nintendo Switch. October 28th. You can download Especially the one on the, on the 3DS. Today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Yeah, well, December 2nd is that close to my birthday because it, my birthday is not on the, on the 2nd, it's on the 3rd. ...available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, okay, so Resident Evil is getting a trilogy. So we're getting the trilogies of uh, Resident Evil coming to cloud. Okay. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Vanquish foes to avenge your father. Oh, guys, okay. Shifu, come to the Switch. Welcome aboard. Tripping and parrying opponents. Okay, so I'm seeing one of these uh, Jackie Chun moves. Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. 
Can you well, I just hope this is like uh, another of its uh, Samurai Jack move. Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Experience the events leading up okay, to Final Fantasy Okay, and we're getting a new Final Fantasy game. action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to become a uh, hero. All right. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud. He investigates strange But well, I think I need to play the one on the PS5, which is uh, Final Fantasy this VII Remake. This features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. Okay, then. The classic arcade shoot-em-up Radiant Silvergun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire different types of weapons to take uh, the okay. enemies. Okay. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain. Yo, bonus. this looks this or looks take interesting. Down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo okay, Switch cool. later today. All right. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the end. Oh, so again, here is another Sega but game. It's not as easy as Endless sounds. Dungeon. You'll nice. You'll defend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three okay. players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? This looks promising. Endless dungeon launches on this game looks Switch promising, I'm not gonna lie. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. Oh come on, not another Remaster final not, a, not another Symphonia fantasy game. Is coming to Nintendo Switch. The world of Silverage is controlled by games? shadowy forces I called Desiance. To stop them, a person known as the Chosen One must ascend the Tower of Salvation. I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current chosen one, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. Okay, well, we're gonna hear a lot of uh, crazy exciting games coming out, coming out this year. But this year or next year? Oh, okay, we got Lego Brick Tales. Now, there's another Lego game which is something that's called Lego Brawler. I mean, I never actually have played that one. And yeah, what we're getting here is a, a brand new racing game with all these Disney characters. Okay. Okay, so Fall Guy is getting a new season. Interesting. Well, Fall Guy, Fall Guy looked a lot of fun, but I have not even gotten catching up on it. Oh, okay, and we're getting here the new Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. That I'm looking forward to. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his home planet, Kirby and his friends set off on an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Blast foes from a distance, or punch them up close. It's packed with other powerful moves okay. as well. The game supports local play for up to four players done. on the same console. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. Oh, okay, so everybody There's can play online. Of sub -games That's new play. stuff. This includes the new sub-game Magalore's Tome Trackers. And returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub-games can be played with up to four players. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. 
Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on Nintendo Switch February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today okay, good on stuff. Nintendo so... eShop. That's, that's new. Okay, we can understand what you're saying, so we're gonna have to skip that. Okay, new game for this. Let's see. So, we are getting the new Breath of the Wild too. So, let's see now. Let's see how good this game is gonna look. So, we're getting here. It's uh, another actual footage. Okay, so we're looking at here. This is one of these drawings. Interesting. Okay, and who's that? Well, that looks a sorcerating. Okay, well, we're seeing here it's a whole bunch of these rumors and a bunch of these goddesses. Okay. Well, I'm getting some uh, Skyward Sword vibes going on here. Yes, Skyward Sword right out the back. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Dane. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, that was the last announcement. Tears of the Kingdom. Now that's new. Well, still, I mean, this is just the, 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 the whole new generation of Breath of the Wild 2. Hands down. So, I not see any new... Actually, I think the new Mega Man collection is uh, coming... I don't know, maybe two months? Uh, well, who knows? I mean... I not actually see any new footage, game footage for Mega Man. But uh, I also have the other uh, demo, which is called Mega Man 11. So um, let me try to go and rewind this. So I want to to rewind all the way to the first beginning of what we just saw. All right, so let's go over. So we got a lot to talk about. So um, there's uh, more that we gotta go and and view. So it's just gonna take me back to the first beginning because I don't know because I'm. I'm watching Nintendo Direct on my Wii U because somehow when I go use OBS or Streamlabs, it's going to to cut off and it's going to, to take it into a free stance. Streamlabs, it's going to to cut off and it's going to, to take it into a free stance. But um, it was a good Nintendo Direct, and I, I really enjoyed that. But um, it it seems like it's a, it's much joyful for some of the of the Nintendo fans, which were waiting to see what's going to happen. Well. As as unless as we're getting another <laughs> as, as long as we're getting another uh, PlayStation Direct, I mean, I would look forward to the scene what what kind of game we're about to get on the PlayStation. But I am uh, such a huge Nintendo and Sony fan. I mean, they're both are one of my favorites because I'm not even catch up with uh, Microsoft, which is uh, on Xbox. But uh, meh. But uh, there's like a lot happening. So, what you guys uh think about uh, the new Pitman Four? So. Are you uh, mostly excited to come out on next year? I mean, and also, um, yeah, you know what? <laughs> okay. Well, this is uh, taking kind of slow there. It, it turns out because it's just uh, taking uh, a long time to, to to load up. Well, eventually, before it, it comes up, I mean, let's uh, talk over this, okay? So there's uh, a lot to discuss and uh, talk over through because uh, while we get the um, the Wii U gamepad to take its time to load and to the start up back to where we pick off. I mean, there's uh, more things happening here because um we already saw the new Fire Emblem game, which is called Fire Emblem Engage. We already saw, okay, what what do we all actually saw? We we seen the new uh, first mission one, two, and three, which is getting a remake, and we already saw it already because uh, they're actually making the the, the new SpongeBob game called. SpongeBob SquarePants for Cosmic Shade. I am a, such a let me tell you about, about this game, you guys. I am such a huge SpongeBob fan. Back in my childhood, I play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, and of course, yeah, yeah because I have a, a PS2 which I play that the original on the P, on the PlayStation, and that game take me back way, way back. I mean, it it was way back in the beginning since my first childhood since I played Battle for Bikini Bottom. I play a whole bunch of a bunch of SpongeBob games recently, 
So uh, I am excited for the new Pitman game because it, it came out of nowhere. I mean, it doesn't came out of nowhere. It was uh, been it's been like like uh, how many years since it? How many years did we wait for Pitman for? How many years? I mean, I think <laughs> I think it's only like ten years. Ten years that we are uh, waiting for the uh, the sequel to the Pitman Free. Because we we had Pitman Free Deluxe, which is uh which is quite a, a false alarm because we didn't actually quite get uh, Pitman 4 recently. But now we have it. So we have Pitman 4 coming out next year, which I'm looking forward to because it's coming out in 2023, which I'm deeply excited for. And what's the next game that we look? So, okay, so now I think we already looked because we're actually making another Legend of Zelda game called Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, that's the one we, we were looking forward to because, um, actually, I, I, I've been uh, sitting around waiting for this uh, gamepad to load, but um, it's a scene like it's just uh, taking way too slow to load up. Okay, well, you know what? I don't know if it's going to come up anytime soon. So, what else do we look at? Um, okay, hold on. So, so now we knew already because. Because sorry, I, I just can't think it over. So it's just going to take me some my time for my brain to refresh my memory. So I, I want to go ahead and like check to see because we are getting... Oh, hold on. Now I almost forgot. So we are getting the new Mario Kart 8 uh, booster pack way free. So that's coming out. Uh, I'm thinking uh, somewhere between the holidays. I'm not sure. I may not be, I'm not even like, catching up to watching the, the, the entire direct of what's going to happen. But the, we are going to get a, another wave coming up. All right, so we get the first wave. So the second wave that we already gotten. So um, it just uh, came out since uh last month. Yeah, I think that was last month since uh we we got wave two, and then we we get to um to the race uh like the um the remake to all of these uh racing tracks of uh, all Mario Kart franchise. But uh that I, I'm mostly excited for because um somehow. Nintendo did such a good job, and also for the N64 games, so yeah. So, we are getting the Mario Party, we are getting Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, we're getting like a, a whole ton of Nintendo 64 games coming soon. I mean, man, Nintendo is still growing, it's still growing because the company is uh, making a lot of money, just so that they can just pay their own budget, so that the entire fans were, were waiting to see what the next game is about to, to happen, I mean, I mean, the, the Switch uh, is, um, is growing. I mean, the, the Switch is like the new GameCube, all right? Because it's, it's like it turns things around because just to go ahead and change a lot from it in the future because it just uh, made the other fans so happy to see that um, they bring back the old school classes of the N64 games. I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to that. And uh, all by means, I mean, I, I was uh, hoping they would go ahead and make another an online port so uh, we, we want to play like uh, Game Boy just for memories. I mean, I'm still trying to wait and see if a Nintendo can like go and do an online port for our Game Boy or GameCube, whichever comes first. I mean, I'm not uh, entirely sure uh, what Nintendo is planning on doing. I mean, I had to go and look up some more rumors up later, but um, there's uh, a lot of things happening here. So, you know what? I can't go ahead and like uh, rewind and just to go and look to see what kind of games are new. Also, uh, let's uh, talk about the new uh, Mario Plus Rabbit's Parts of Hope. So, you get to um, to choose, actually, you get to, uh, to, to pick whatever sparks you're using. And, uh, of course, you can use these uh, sparks just for your advantage so that you can uh, use them in combat. And just uh, check to, to to see what kind of element they can go use. But any other element they, they use, is like, um, like for example, if, if they want to go use free physics, or not well it's a it's a some something like a, a second move or something like that or fire so there are very like a ton of the element that each part can go use and then somehow you you use them for for your disadvantage on on some of these are uh, rabbit enemies so you use them to um to attack foes and um, of course uh, you go get to encounter bosses and somehow you get to uh, upgrade uh, some of your weapons i mean it's it's like it's it's fun stuff i mean Somehow you, you get to uh, to do purchasing as you uh, go to the uh, to the merchant, and then somehow you can go and uh, use these items for attacking enemies. That I'm I'm looking forward to to that game to come up next month. I mean, we are getting four DLC wave for Sparks of Hope, 
And of course, uh, I was uh, looking forward to one uh, playing. Well, actually, you know what? I really wanted to play the um the, the one called Rayman Legends. I have not played that one yet. But so y'all gonna have to let me know. You y'all want to me to do a live stream of uh, Rayman Legends, okay? So uh, in case uh we get the um the DLC way free for for Mario plus Rabbit Spots of Hope, I I will deeply excited to the players of uh, Rayman and the uh, next DLC. Well, they're they're bringing him back there because um. I, I realized because uh, I I wasn't technically um, a, a huge Rayman fan. I I know all about it because uh, one of my cousins, uh, they they used to the I have uh, one of these uh, cousins cousins. I have three cousins that used to play Rayman Legends on the Xbox, on Xbox 360. I I played a demo of it on the Xbox 360 as well, and I have not have a plan on picking up the other four version of it. I play a little bit by it, and I I usually actually I used to play the device called Rayman Oregon, it's the one I have on my device, and I have uh, totally beat it in 100%. It's like a, a speed run game which you go ahead and collect fireflies, and somehow it's like something that you go ahead and like solve obstacles and like solving, like you have to go and free all the fireflies and increase up your high score and that kind of thing. I mean, somehow it's it's a basic like a, uh, uh, like a 2D obstacle where you go ahead and control at Rayman and then he just go and run straight to uh and then he just go jump and paraglide to, to get, collect all the other uh, fireflies that I heard so much about that game so I, I was uh, deeply looking forward to uh the playing the um the new DLC way for Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle the deferred DLC which is going to be coming up real soon what which I'm uh, mostly excited for and that's all we saw because uh, we're getting here it's uh, a whole lot of uh, Final Fantasy games coming out, out, out recently so um I I don't know what's uh, taking so long for for YouTube to uh, to bring up the um the, the game the, the gameplay of all of this. Well, you know what? I mean, it's just uh, taking a while because it's just taking a, a slower proportion because it seems like it doesn't want to play it because it's just taking too slow. So I don't know what's going on with it right now. But um anyway, I mean. We just saw this uh, ribbon game, or what's it called, it, from uh, Final Fantasy. But um, it's a, it's a remind me of the game from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so it's Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories. It's the one I usually play on the demo, but uh, I have I'm not actually a plan on picking up the first version because um, I wasn't even catching up with all the uh, the Kingdom Hearts game recently. So uh, we realized because I'm getting some uh, spider rumor because I'm actually making Kingdom Hearts four. Okay, so we we got the I I mean I thought the trilogy would end well of of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, why make a fourth for a Kingdom Hearts game when um, Kingdom Hearts three is the uh, the final finish? But uh, who knows? I mean, so will we will we be back and uh, reunite with uh, Kyrie? Because I'm going to get uh, Kingdom Hearts four on the PS five when it comes out. Because I have a PS five already. Because I can re I can barely go and stream it on my P PS five when it comes out. Because I I don't. Well, I don't mind just to do any uh, gameplay of it because it may take uh, a long time for me to to get that game finished because I had to keep up on playing uh, more video games in that case I see how the story's going to end. So, um, also, um, let's see now. Yes, so about Zebra Chronicle Free the expansion pass, I have the expansion pass already, and they're adding this uh, new hero named you know, and we we get to uh, complete that every other uh, quest activity. Okay, so we get to run a fight more and more monsters I mean it's about we get to a complete challenges we get to uh, complete the, her her quest and of course that we get to um to do a bit of a upgrade to Eno and just to see what kind of unique uh, skills and type weapons that he can use for her uh, tactic advantage over her art specials but um I have not even catch up with uh example Chronicle 3 so if you guys have something to add to the comment section so uh, by all means just um like like talk to me ask questions uh, what what do we see in the Nintendo Direct? Well, we did not quite see if we're actually going to show off this um this Mario movie on the Nintendo Direct. I mean, that's only when when they show the uh, the poster. I mean, when we uh, get to uh, to see what the poster is supposed to look like, we we want to see how Mario is going to look in the, the animation movie. We we want that to happen, but um it it won't happen until Game S Plan go and show it off. I mean, we we want to wait and see what the um the new Mario character is going to look like and and all of these characters I mean I am looking forward to the uh, new Super Mario Bros movie I, I want to go ahead and see it in theaters because um I, I rushed this uh, live action 
was his um Mario Mario Super Mario Bros. And it was uh kind of uh, trashy. I I heard that everybody do not like that movie so, that much because uh it's because uh these are live action for uh, Super Mario Bros. and uh Sonic the Hedgehog what won't do any comparison to every other movies. But uh, Super Mario Bros. was uh quite a uh, a garbage a garbage movie, which I I really don't like. Well, I I just hope they don't mess this up. I mean, I want to see how good. The, uh, the animation of Super Mario Bros. is to put the look in the movie. I was uh, mostly excited for it. Yeah, well, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 were such a brilliant movie. Well, we didn't actually get any uh, Nintendo Direct about Sonic Frontiers. I mean, we, we did not, not quite actually see that. Because what we're getting here is uh, a lot, a lot of uh, Final Fantasy games coming recently. Well, actually, uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned not to say Final Fantasy. I mentioned fantasies. Okay, so we're getting here a whole lot of fantasy games. For uh, for JRPGs and everything, so we we saw it already because um Auto Auto Pass Traveler is getting a sequel, and what we, we, we almost so we got is this a game called Auto Pass Traveler Two, okay so uh, I have the I played the one that the first one is the the Proloid demo, and I have I'm not gotten the question up to the playing the, the actual first version of it, but uh, we will see we'll see how it's uh, shaping up we will see. Alright guys, you know what? That was gonna have to do it for me. So thank you guys so much for, for tuning in and uh, watching my uh, live stream. So if you're enjoying the stream, hit up that appetite to like, share the live stream, subscribe if you're new to this. And if you have uh, do already subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do ring the notification bell and stay tuned. So I will be live every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you'll see me go live in the nearly future and stick around. So I will be live for with more Batman World. Which is uh, going to be coming out at 5:30 p.m. So I will be back to live streaming two of those um both upcoming live streams. All right, so we will have more uh, Batman World Repack, and the second we will continue with more Sonic Origins because I really wanted to get done with Sonic the Hedgehog free and move on. So I I really think that because um I have not gotten to uh, take the uh, the moment of my chance to go finish up playing the uh, the first Xenoblade Blade Chronicles on the Switch, which I have not gotten finished. But um, I'll I'll run I'll rerun back with the Xenoblade Chronicles later. Right now, I got so much of my um of the, of these games that I need to get catching up on doing because I haven't completed Bug Fables a while back. So uh, you know what? Yeah. So it's a uh, scene like this. Uh, Wii U is about to fade away. But uh, that's not talk about that right now. So make sure you guys are liking, hitting up that uh, subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and stay tuned for everything. So if you guys want to see me stream more, I mean, just uh, please let me know, and um, hopefully I can. Uh, in, in whatever games you want me to play next in the nearly future, y'all gonna have to to leave me a, a comment section below of what games you want me to play in the nearly future. All right, because there's a, a lot of games I need.